welcome to the show. You guys, as you guys know me, I have watched martial arts films from way, way back. So this is, I'm getting into groupie mode right now, you know, so uh, Jim Kelly, Enter the Dragon, Black Belt Jones, I mean, this cat did it all. How oh, are you man, today, you sir? Make this sound, maybe you make that sound so good, man. You, man. No, no, I am privileged to honor to interview you. Thank you very much. So what's been going on? First of all, how did you get involved with Enter the Dragon? Because you yeah, were special, dude. Oh, uh, thank you very much. That was a classic film. Uh, it's, one of, it's one of those films that everything came together on, you know. All the ingredients came together, turns into a classic film. Um, I was very lucky to get Enter the Dragon because um, they were having problems with one of the actors for my part mm -hmm. and negotiating contracts. So they, in the meantime, they were interviewing other actors and I guess Bruce and recommended me also and the producer, uh, between the producer and Bruce, uh, they decided they, uh, they want me. Mm -hmm. So uh, with Bruce's help, I got the part. Yeah. How close did you and John Saxon become? Because you guys were like aces in the film. The yeah, film. I, yeah. Uh, we were so busy uh, shooting Enter the Dragon that mm -hmm. uh, we didn't get a chance to talk that much, mm. you know. But we were, uh, we uh, we got along very well on the set. We never had never had a problem, no negativity whatsoever. And uh, but we didn't get a chance to really talk that much because we were all <laughs> working our butts off, you know. So, uh, but he's a great guy, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a pleasure working with John Saxon because he's a classic actor. So I had I had a, the greatest martial artist ever on one side, and I had John Saxon on the other side, a great actor. So. I got to learn a lot from John from his acting skills because that was my second film. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, it's my second film. First film was Melinda with Calvin Lockhart. You know who Calvin Lockhart is? Yes, I do. Oh, you don't know. Yes, I do. He played in Predator too. I remember. You kidding me? He was uh, the the drug dad. That's right, bad brother. See, wasn't see, it? see. Calvin's a bad brother. King Willie will see you now. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Calvin was a bad brother. You know, he was a nice brother. He great actor. Mm -hmm. Great actor. But anyway, that was my first film. And my second film was Enter the Dragon. So it gave me an opportunity to work with uh, John, who was a great actor. I picked up things from him. Got the greatest martial artist ever, Bruce Lee. That's my opinion. Uh, I think he's the greatest ever. He was a, he was a step above everybody else. Yes. I mean, he was a level above everybody else. I mean, I, I, I was world karate champion. I was middleweight champion. Uh, I, I got friends who were champions. And Bruce was here, and everybody else was down here. So, yeah. not to say that, you know, we were all great, but Bruce was better. Right. <laughs> Black Bell Jones. Give us a little bit about Black Bell Jones. DJ. DBJ. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know about Black Bell Jones, though. I know, she's a youngster, you know. I, I know, yeah, she's too young. To <laughs> yeah. Black Bell Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a fun film for me. That was uh, my first film with, uh, on my three-picture deal with Warner Brothers, because after Enter the Dragon, um, Warner Brothers offered me a three-picture deal to star in three films by myself. Mm -hmm. So Black Bell Jones was my first project, and it was written by Oscar Williams, a black, direct, a black writer, and he's also a director. He direct, later on, he directed my film called Hot Potato for Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. Oscar Williams. So uh, Black Bell Jones was fun. It made a lot of money, I know that. For, for Warner Brothers, it made a lot. It got our money a couple of Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> so what are you doing now, Jim? Right now, I, let's put it this way, I, I get three films a year offered to me. Mm -hmm. Three films a year. And uh, they're so bad, I can't even take them. I mean, uh, they're yeah. one of the stars, or the star, but the script is so bad, or the character I'm going to play is so bad. I just refuse to do it. I'm happy with, with, uh, with the films that I've done already. Yes. Uh, if I never make another film, it's okay with me. Uh, but hopefully a good script will come through, and I will right. do another film. But I'm very concerned about what I put on that screen, especially for the youth. I agree. The image is strong. That's, a ver that's probably the strong image there is, is on that big screen. Right. So it's very important to me what I put out there, and so hopefully I'll get a good script. Movie star, socially conscious, Jim Kelly. Like I said, I'm about to go over group groupie mode. Now I'm going to cut the interview off, but Jim, thanks a lot, man. More than Thank a pleasure you. talking to you. My pleasure. Okay, good My to pleasure. see you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Now Ah, Jim Kelly! You got it, man. <laughs> you got it. We did it. We did it, man. You, you're very good. <laughs> Thank you. You're very good, man. I appreciate it. I